well, hello internet, here we are. We come to the start of a, another day. That's supposed to be a warm day. We're kind of in the middle of a heat wave. They have a heat warning out and an air quality warning out, which makes it wonderful for people like me. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So here we go. Well, it's been five or six days or so since I returned from uh, Drumheller, or uh, I should say my last vlog, because that was a day or two before I left, or, you know, was going to leave Drumheller. It was sure nice to get away, sure nice to escape reality and uh, go somewhere different. However, um, reality hits ten times as hard uh, when you come back because you can't escape reality as much as you want to. Um, I obviously can't drive like I used to uh, or have the stamina to drive like I used to because uh, I crashed big time when I got back um, from all the driving I did. So obviously that tells me that if I do make a recovery uh, I won't be going back to my driving job like I like I did have one time. So that kind of uh, that kind of sucks there. That uh, you coming to the realization that your career you put so much into, chances are you'll never be able to get behind the wheel of uh, well your delivery truck again like you used to do at a point in your life when you were uh, happy. As well as, of course, escape the reality, but all those uh, things that you were trying to escape when you went away are still here, <laughs> are still here um, when you get back. And, of course, I still need to clean out the camper, which you guys haven't seen yet. And uh, things like that. I've. Uh, this is the first day that I've been... Uh, uh, feeling like leaving the house or had the ability to leave the house I should say um, just kind of the way she goes right I have no idea how it's, things are going to shake out um, how things are going to work out you know I would love to drink some magic potion and either get better and uh, back to working again or just be able to end it all and uh, either start from scratch or not have to carry all this uh, anymore. You know how they say hindsight's always 2020, and I know I've said this in my um, last few vlogs, but uh, well, it is true. There are points in the last 12 years where I fought for this house and uh, in the end all it's done is cost me money. It's costing me my health more than my health is already failing. It's costed me stress and uh, family time as much as I, or as little as I had family time over the years. Stressing about the house has uh, took a toll and you know, don't get me wrong, I know it was a blessing to have had a chance to have bought a house, but I bought it 10 years too late. You know, most kids start uh, when they leave high school pursuing the dream of a house and a new vehicle and a wife and a kid. And uh, I waited way too long for that. You know, I waited 10 years later to start pursuing all that and uh, that's what happens when you wait, you know. You end up um, end up losing out in the end, and that's kind of where I am right now. Is is uh, if I would have started ten years ago, the house would be almost paid for now, like down to the last where I could refinance and and drop the payments even less to to make it happen. And you know, sure, you can rent 
and, and pay some greedy company a thousand bucks a month and have nothing in the end, which is basically what I've done here for 12 years. Except when the job market crashes or you want to move, you give your notice and move. I can't even move because I have this house, you know. I can't even move uh, when I was able to work and couldn't find a job. I couldn't even move to a town that had a job because, again, I had this house, you know, and I go on vacation and I wonder how the house is doing because it requires maintenance. <laughs> it requires things that you can't just go away for a, a two-week vacation and, uh, and leave the house by itself because when you come back, you got problems to deal with. When you come back, on top of the problems that you were trying to get away from. There comes a time when in your life where you have to ask yourself, is the struggle you're struggling for worth? There are times in your life where you have to ask yourself, is what you're struggling for worth the struggle you're going through? And um, in 2008 or 2009, whenever it was there, um, there was a bit of a shake-up in my family and I fought to keep the house because I still had the um, thought of a wife and a kid. And refinanced, added more to my mortgage, you know how it goes, extended it for another, you know, 10 years or whatever. And in 2013, um, when the wife and kid thing came to reality is not, not going to happen anymore, I refinanced again and added another uh, twenty five or almost $30,000 over a period of 20 years again to my mortgage. And pretty much every time you guys do that, it ends up extending the mortgage even further. Ends up... Um, basically screwing you in the end I've paid 12 years uh, on this house and I actually owe uh, just as much as I did the day that I signed the papers to um, buy the house which doesn't make any sense however I have basically bought this house four times uh, over the period of 10 years I won't go into the extended details over that, but um, this was supposed to be a family house. And each time a family member wanted out, the remaining members had to refinance, uh, re-sign, re-assume um, the other person's share. And eventually it was just down to me. And I should have cut and run years ago. Instead I sunk things into the house trying to keep it afloat and the end result is still going to be the same except I am don't have what it takes now to pick the pieces up to to rebuild where don't take this the wrong way but the people that cut and ran 10 years ago or or uh, you know five years ago were the smart ones <clears throat> you know I should have done the same the economy would have been better in 2014, 2013. I probably could so, so, uh, could have uh, um, probably could have sold the house in a month or two instead of having it on the market for the last four or five months, and um, would have been free and clear, picking up pieces and starting over again um, right now. But I guess it is the way it is. In life, I've always been the one not to quit. I've always struggled and always tried to keep things going. However, I think this time, um, it's not going to pay to struggle. I think this time I need to give up. And this time I need to come to the reality that that's what has to happen. Because you sink another twenty or 30000 bucks into this house... Um, in two, three years, I'm still going to be back in the same boat. Um, you know, you take in uh, renters or tenants or however you want to say, and I go fishing. In, in two, three years, I'm still going to be back in the same boat. 
they might be able to pay the mortgage for two, three years, but eventually they're going to move on. And then what happens, right? I'm back in the same boat. The only saving grace is maybe in two, three years, the economy will have rebounded where I could sell the house. That's the only saving part. However, um, that being said, it's uh, not looking like it's going to do it right now anytime soon. Or at least that's what they tell us anyway, and that's what everybody seems to believe because everybody seems to believe what they're told. But anyways, guys, sorry to start the day off kind of uh, messed up and uh, things, but it kind of is what it is. And uh, this is why I haven't been very creative. This is why I haven't put out any new videos, and this is why my life is... Uh, while well, this is why uh, my life is showing the way it is, is because there's a lot of things going on in my life and a lot of things I don't share with people, uh, YouTube or outsiders or uh, even family in general. And um, it's mine to carry, not nobody else's. It is what it is and around we go. So we'll catch you all later. Well, hello internets, here we are. We come to the end of another day. Yes, I apologize. Uh, it's been all day and I haven't picked up a camera, but that's the way it's been lately. And the days that are slightly sh slower, my brain is so fried that I totally forget to grab the camera because I'm still recovering from all the stuff that's gone on the previous days. Well, went out to try to find some answers and direction today. And I guess in a way, I did find answers and I did find direction. However, it didn't come the way I was hoping. Um, I've come to the realization that the choices that I had made or the thoughts of choices that I'd have to make a year ago and I've put off have come to a reality that has to be made and I think tomorrow is going to be the big day where I make those choices become a reality and uh, start making it happen for the future. I know I'm being cryptic once more and not speaking exactly, but for those that have watched my vlogs, you'll know what I mean. Um, somewhat, anyways. It's uh, the way it is. This house was a blessing 12 years ago. This house um, had the potential for me to uh, um, fulfill my dreams. However, the family never happened, the children never happened, you know, all that stuff that was supposed to happen or is supposed to happen when you have a house never happened. However, I have grown more than I did 12 years ago in my knowledge and some of my skills, which I guess is a plus. It is sucky to have to let go of a dream especially to let go of it the way that I'm going to have to let go of it. But at the same time, it is what it is. I've dug my toes in to hang on, and apparently I hung on too long. I should have given up years ago. But I honestly thought by hanging on, things would get better. And you can't make do with uh, things when there's nothing to make do with. You think the passengers of the Titanic would have kept the Titanic from sinking if they would have used towels and bed sheets to soak up the water? No, <laughs> it was still going to sink. They might have been able to sop up some of the water and keep their feet from getting wet right away, but it's still going to sink. And that's basically what's happened here. So, it is what it is. So, like I said, it's going to be an interesting ride. It's going to be a heck of a change. Um, if it doesn't destroy me, I'll come out the other end a better person. With definitely more knowledge than I did when I went into it. That being said, I have 
semi sorted out the footage that I shot in Drumheller here last week and uh, I do have one or two uh, semi coherent videos that I can put up as well as apparently on the SD card that I used was a few videos and clips that I attempted to shoot around here um, over the last few months of being away and not shooting videos. So I could probably make a mashup of my dysfunctional summer and uh, have all the weird things that happened, um, all the videos that didn't get finished shooting kind of in one messed up dysfunctional type video. I just don't quite know how things are going to settle out. I don't know how far I can go um, right now um, with the economy the way it is. Things aren't going to sell the way I think they're going to. However, things have to go because I can't move my tools. I can't use my tools where I'm going because uh, there's no space to use them. And uh, I can't hang on to them in the hopes that someday I'll get another garage and be able to do what I once did. Because, well, chances are this house was a once in a lifetime deal. Especially for a person of my age now. But it is what it is, guys. Life is what it is. Sometimes you get the, well, honey and sweetness. And sometimes the honey and sweetness go away and you end up dealing with the vinegar. And, uh, well, that's kind of where I am right now. If I can swim through the vinegar and get to the river of honey and sweetness on the other side, I'm hoping things will settle down and maybe next summer we can have ourselves a little bit of a better summer than we've had in many, 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 many years. But thanks for watching this here vlog, and as always, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.